In today's sewing tutorial, I am going to show you how to adjust the fit on a pair of trousers by tapering the leg. This is a fairly easy technique and is a great way to update an old pair of trousers to a more modern style or if you are more slender legged to give a more tailored fit. My name is Elfie Sew and I produce sewing tutorials for all, from complete beginners through to more advanced enthusiasts. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you enjoy what you learn here today. Now, before you begin, you need to try on your trousers and determine how much width you wish to lose at the hem. If you are going to adjust the length of your trousers, I recommend you reduce that first before tapering the legs, as you will get pooling and warping of the fabric if the bottom hem sits on your foot or the floor pushing it up. For my example here, the owner of these trousers wanted to lose a full 3 inches in the width at the hem. You want to spread this evenly between the front and back of the pant leg, so half your measurement and then half it again so that it is on the inside and outside of the leg. The marks I've made here are an example of how it will reduce, but we will need to measure from the seams, not the centre of the leg. Place your trousers on a flat surface inside out. Unpick the original hem and fold this down. You don't need to press out this line, leave it in. It will give you the perfect guide for placing the hem back at the end. On trousers, there is more fabric in the back of the pant leg than the front. You'll find it's not an even distribution and that's how it should be but it will mean your trousers don't lay flat nicely to do this adjustment. Take pins and work on one side at a time and pin the edge flat. Measure at the hemline by a quarter of your reduction amount. For me, that's three quarter inch as we calculated earlier. Mark this point, then use a long ruler and make a nice straight line angling it gradually into the seam. This measurement will depend on your inner leg measurement, but you want to aim for a nice gradual slope with no sudden changes in direction, hitting the seam around mid thigh. You also need to mark the hem turn up. I like to make this line slightly angled outwards, not much. You can keep it vertical if you only have a slight taper, but just ensure you don't carry on inwards you'll pucker your hem later if you do that. Repeat this for the outer seam, aligning the taper length with the inseam so that they match. See how you get this pooling of fabric in the center. Take this to your machine and we're going to sew from the hem all the way up to the point it hits the original side seam. Remember to backstitch at the beginning and end and remove your pins as you go. Once done, use your seam ripper to undo the original side seams up to where it meets the new. Press this open with a ham below. If you don't have a ham, a rolled up towel will work the same. Try it on at this stage and see how they look and feel. Make any adjustments you need before going on to the next steps. Fold the hem back under using the original fold line we left to guide you. If you need to alter the length then you can do so now and use an invisible herringbone stitch to secure it so that you have no visible marks on the outside of the trousers. 
If you wish, you can trim these seams down and finish the edges. That could be with an overlocker or a zigzag stitch on your regular machine. I personally do not feel the need to, but if you have really tapered in the trousers and this seam is wide, you should do so to reduce bulk. Repeat for both legs and you're done. You have a more tapered fit to update your wardrobe without any expense. If you have enjoyed this video and would like to learn more, please like and subscribe to be notified of new sewing tutorials. I post for beginners through to sewing enthusiasts so you're sure to find something you enjoy. Happy sewing.